Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2018-19 Panini Select Basketball 12 box. Pick your team number five. Very big thank you to all of these lovely people here. Remember, if you've got a little thing next to your name, that means you uh, you won that in a spot random. There it is. Friday the 8th. Happy Friday, everybody. Pick your team five. Select basketball. Some hot stuff in here. Hopefully that trend continues. I don't know who got who got official last spot mojo in this. That's Corey K's spot random last spot mojo. I think it's Greg with the Nets. Was the last spot purchased straight up. All right. Bam, there it is. Bam, here we go. This break takes about an hour, so settle in, folks. But it, it kind of feels like a fast hour. A lot of different parallels to keep an eye on. So. All right. All right, good luck, everybody. Well, just go to the gym, Vanilla Gorilla. We're all booked up until 7.30 Pacific, 10.30 Eastern. So even if we fill that up, it wouldn't happen until that time anyway. Go to the gym, come back. Might be ready by then. All right, good luck, boys and girls. We've got... Couple ESPN basketball games happening tonight, right? Sixers Rockets appear to be first. And I've got some picks for how are my picks doing tonight? I've got Charlotte minus four and a half hosting the Wizards. They are down by three, but still plenty of time left in that basketball game. I have the Dallas Mavericks plus seven. They are down by 15. Still, second quarter. Still plenty of time left in that game. I've got them. I've got the Heat. Oh, none, none, none of the rest of these games haven't even started yet. They're, they'll be starting. They'll be tipping off soon. But I've got the Heat. I've got the Pelicans at home plus seven and a half. Going with the home dog. I've got going with the Sixers, folks. Sixers plus eight. That's a lot of points to give to the Sixers, I feel like. Point eight. Rockets will probably win, but I feel like the, the, the Sixers can cover here. I'm also taking the under on that game. Under 230 and a half points. Taking Golden State minus six and a half. It's kind of a small number for a Golden State Warriors at home. And I'm taking OKC plus two and a half points here in LA. They're playing the Clippers. First up is Lance Stevenson, Timberwolves edition. Forgot about this edition of Lance Stevenson. Nine out of 99. That goes to Bill Anton with the Timberwolves. John Samson in the house looking for a Dame autograph. We're in box one of Select Picker Team 5. We'll see. We've got plelenty of time. Jimmy Butler, Sixers, Select Swatches. That'll go to Dwayne, who has the Sixers in this one. Sixers are warming up right now. We're going to save these Luka Doncic's, of course. And there's Marc Gasol. Die cut. Out of 249. Concourse. Dallas Mavericks, Ken Goldberg. We got Zach Levine die cut to 249. That'll go to EA and the Bulls. Zach Levine been playing some good basketball, I feel like, for the Bulls. I always thought the Timberwolves should have, should have kept him. Former UCLA guy, too. It's Michael Porter Jr. 
These ones, in football, they're numbered. These ones aren't numbered, just FYI. 140 out of 199. Jersey and autograph, SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Nico, who got the Clippers in the spot random. With the old SGA, some playing some good basketball for the Clippers. More Luka Doncic. There's Luka Doncic right here. This one is premier level. Nice. Another one for Ken. Ken, all of those add up. And a 299, Kevin Durant. And we'll set those uh, serial numbered ones aside. And we will sleeve and top load those before they get shipped out. There's Michael Bridges. There's Josh Okogie to 199. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. So once again, at, at, at the half, Wizards up 52-51 on the Hornets. About 35 seconds left, 20 seconds left in the first half. Magic in Orlando up 59-44 on the Dallas Mavericks. And we've got a bunch of games that are, that are preparing to start. I think the game's tipping off right now or in just a few moments. Cavs are in Miami. That's going to tip off soon. Pistons are in Chicago. Sixers are in Houston. And the Jazz are in Memphis. Jazz versus Blues. Raptors, Toronto are in uh, Nolens. So those are the games that are about to tip off pretty soon. Late games on this Friday night. The late ESPN game would be Nuggets at Warriors. And then on, on local TV here in LA, we'll see Thunder at Clippers. All right, we got Alan Crabb, Crabb and Goyle, X-Factor Relic. Got a little bit of a light pinstripe in there, too. That goes to Greg, who got the Nets. Last spot mojo kicking in right there. 30, 16 out of 49. There's nice Jaron Jackson Jr. EA saying go Pistons. EA needs his Bulls to tank. They don't seem to want to. Not tanking. Although I don't, I think they're a little far from the worst record in basketball. But, but you know, any any help in the lottery? Luka Doncic, nice relic there for the Mavs. Ken Goldberg and the Mavericks. There's Zaire Smith. Out of 99, EA says uh, he's hoping for the fourth, uh, fourth in the draft for the Bulls. And you'll take a reddish. Will the first like four picks will will they be Duke players? There's Tristan Thompson. We got Zaire Smith. Out of 199. And we got a nice Michael Porter Jr. autograph. Nice. The MPJ going to Darren McKenzie. Darren in Denver. 110 out of 199. Nice. There's SGA again to 249. Nice die cut. And Jimmy Butler. We'll see him in action a little bit on ESPN. Instagram, if there were no video cameras at games, 
Craig is saying Miami in first place. 30 and 34 record. I'm not sure what that means. Does not put them in first place. They're battling for an eighth seed. So EA is thinking Zion, Duke. Uh, RJ, is it JT or RJ? RJ Barrett, Duke. Then a Murray, then the Murray State guy, and then Reddish, Duke. Waiting is the hardest part, Trevor. That is for sure. There's a schedule in the chat, folks, if you're just joining us. This is Pick Your Team 5. And you can see what's coming up next. And keep those orders coming, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep filling up breaks. First to fill, first to break. And then we'll just go in order of the breaks that fill after that. All right, next box. Good luck. We got Joel Embiid, 45 out of 49. Flex Swatches jersey. Joel Embiid, not playing tonight. I think injuries will dog him a little bit, Dwayne, but great when he's uh, when he's on the court. There's Mo Wagner to 149. White Prism, Kyrie, and Josh Hart. There's Mr. Wendell, Wendell Carter Jr. to 199. EA with his bulls in this one. There's Landry Shamit. Paul Millsap to 299. There's Mo Wagner again. And Isaiah Thomas, Cavs edition. Throwback memorabilia. I don't know if Isaiah Thomas wants to throw it back to his Cavs days. That goes to Chris Parent, who got the Cavaliers in a spot random. Nice. There's Suns edition of Trevor Ariza, 71 out of 9. really thought the Suns would do a lot better this season. I mean, DeAndre Ayton's having a, a fine season. I just thought it would click a little bit. You know, veteran like Trevor Ariza added, added to the team. Just didn't work out. There's Westbrook, there's Evan Turner. And there's Eldon Campbell, tie-dye autograph for my Lakers. Elvis Ekman with my Lakers. 25 out of 25. All right, next box. Games are tipping off now. Let's see. There are some. We're only like what, 18, 19 games away from the end of the season. We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, looks like the the Bucks have they clinched that number one seed? I don't think they have just yet. The Raptors are still a few games behind them. They looks like they're going to. They should be able to. Pacers are still holding strong in the third seed, ladies and gentlemen. I, I thought they would slip out of that spot once Oladipo went down, but they've been playing some uh, some pretty consistent basketball, staying in that third seed. Then it's the Sixers. They're a game and a half behind them. Then the Celtics, who have struggled but maybe getting a little bit of their mojo back. Pistons playing good basketball. They're in the sixth seed. Then the Brooklyn Nets and the Miami Heat uh, trying to fend off the Orlando Magic and the Hornets for that eighth seed in the East. There's Jeremy Lamb. Oh, there's a Blazer coming up. Jeremy Lamb for the Charlotte Hornets. That'll be for Melanie, who got the Hornets in the spot random.
And it's going to be Clifford Robinson. Nice. In-flight signatures. Cliff Robinson going to John Samuelson and the Portland Trailblazers. Blazing Trails. 122 out of 199. There's Iguodala to 149. There's Ben Simmons die cut. One seventy three out of one seventy five. Christoph's Porzingis, Dennis Schroeder, and Trey Young. Trey Young has been playing some great basketball down the stretch, John Ross. Outside chance for rookie of the year. It'll probably go to Doncic, but But Trey Young should be stealing some votes, that's for sure. There's Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday out for a little while. Out of 249. Pelicans with that die cut. That'll be for Jacob Lewis, who got the Pels in the spot random. There's Monty Morris to 299. And next box. Sixers Rockets about to tip off on ESPN. If you want to watch the game with us. All right, good luck, everybody. Who do you think gets that eight seed in the East? Miami Heat, Orlando Magic, Charlotte Hornets? I think Brooklyn, a couple games ahead of the... Miami Heat in the seventh seed, so it looks like Brooklyn might be hanging on to that seventh seed. In the West, the War Golden State Warriors have a game lead ahead of the Nuggets. So that's a big matchup tonight. I think the Warriors are going to win that one. I've got the Warriors minus six and a half against the Nuggets. I want to try to increase that lead in the number one seed. Nuggets playing some great basketball, though. Oklahoma City Thunder right behind them. Then the Rockets right there. Trailblazers, Jazz, Spurs, Clippers. Now the Spurs and the Clippers have identical records. Spurs are, whatever the tiebreaker is, are in the seventh seed. Clippers are in the eighth seed. The Sacramento Kings are about four games out of a playoff spot. They might be able to try to sneak in there in that eighth seed. It'd be pretty exciting to see them in the playoffs. But for now, it looks like the Spurs and the Clippers are battling for seven or eight. Maybe the uh, Kings will make some noise and try to try to pip a spot at the end. There's Markeith Morris to 49. There's Omari Spellman, jersey and autograph for John Ross and the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young die cut, nice. Another one for the Hawks. Hawks could be a very interesting team next year. Got a good young core, starting with that guy, Trey Young, and they can add some pieces, who knows? There's X Factor, Allen Iverson, the answer. That is for Dwayne and the Sixers. There's Kevin Knox die cut. That is for the Knicks, Robert Throne with the Knicks. Out of 175. Got some lime green coming up. It's LeBron James. Lime green to 75. 
That's right, Dwayne. We're talking about practice. Luka Doncic always seems to follow Dante DiVincenzo, by the way. And there's Tristan Thompson to 299. Concourse level for Ken and the Mavs. And there's LeBron, 19 out of 75. All right. Almost halfway through the break. Ben, what's going on? Looking at the rest of the standings, looks like the Suns and the Knicks are battling for... It's not the number one seed, but the best odds to get that number one spot in the lottery. I wonder what the Knicks, Knicks are a very interesting story, right? They could get, they could get Zion. And they can lure KD or even Kyrie to New York with Kevin Knox and Dennis Smith Jr. back there. Could be very interesting. Nice, Ben. Thanks for joining us. All right, next box. Here we go. We got Devontae Graham to 249. Save one of those Luka Doncic's, of course. There's Kyrie to 299. Ken Goldberg with that Luka. Concourse level. Uh, Melanie with the Hornets gets the Devontae Graham rookie die cut blue. Markel Fultz, Sixers edition, 37 out of 65. Markel Fultz could be an interesting uh, be an interesting addition to that Orlando Magic team. If he gets healthy, maybe the change of scenery will help. And there's Enos Cantor, X-Factor Relic. Game more material in that one. Then we have Jersey and Auto, Dante DiVincenzo. And that goes to Mike Cody in the Milwaukee Bucks. 136 out of 199. There you go. And Mo Bamba, tie dye. Nice. That's an excellent uh, patch in there. And I love the tie-dye pattern. 16 out of 25. Nice. That'll be for Corey K in the Orlando Magic. He got the Magic in a spot random. And there's Taj Gibson to 199. All right, next box. Almost about about halfway there. After this box, we will be halfway there.
right, here we go. Next box. We got Otto Porter Jr. 20 out of 60. We got Jamal Crawford, X Factor. 56 out of 99 for the Suns. That'll be for Ryan Sullivan. We got for the Trailblazers, Arvada Sabonis. So a couple old school guys for John Samuelson and the Trailblazers. 177 out of 199. Grayson Allen, White Prism to 149. And a nice tie-dye die cut. 14 out of 25, Aaron Gordon. Orlando Magic. Corey K with the Orlando Magic. Got him in a spot random. Old double zero. <laughs> Just 14 off the jersey number. See, Dante DiVincenzo, Luka Doncic. And DeAndre Ayton. Nice DeAndre Ayton relic for Ryan Sullivan. We're getting warmer, Ryan. Getting warmer. Mark needs the Warriors to come out to play. He needs a hit. If you see a redemption, might be a good sign, Mark. Concourse level. We've seen some Steph Curry's. There's Kevin Knox and Kevin Knox. John Tamson saying, Joe, I am enjoying a peanut butter and pickle burger right now. So so it's it's meat, peanut butter, and pickle? Huh. How how's the peanut butter working out for you there? All right, next box. John Samson rec saying it's not bad. I finally had to try it. Everyone get it. I'm not sure if I'm into that. I'm not a fan of the pickle. I'm a fan of the peanut butter, but not on a burger. I had a peanut butter and honey sandwich today. On some toasted, uh, toasted wheat. You'll have to go to KillerBurger.com, folks. Apparently, that's where it is. Now, on on, a, on toasted wheat bread, crunchy peanut butter, and uh, and uh, and and some honey. That's, that's delicious. Peanut butter, I've heard peanut people do peanut butter and banana, but peanut butter, banana, and bacon says Trevor. That's interesting. And send us some steaks, Trevor. Thanks, in advance. We got Kyrie Irving autograph, in-flight signatures. That is for Derwin and the Boston Celtics. 
Little oppo Joe Mojo. Going oppo. 49 out of 49 on that Kyrie. Looks like Celtics looking like they're getting their act together. There's Landry Shamit out of 299. Marvin Bagley. Marcus Smart to 199. Paul George to 149, 007 out of 149. Do 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 do. And Chandler Parsons, throwback memorabilia. Mavericks, that goes to Ken, Ken Goldberg with that one. Oh, John Tan was saying everyone gets it. No, he wasn't demanding everyone go and get it. But apparently it's a, it's a small chain up in Portland. Not sure if I'm into that, but I'll take your word for it. We got X Factor CJ McCollum for John, and the Trailblazers out of one, one out of ninety-nine. John Tamsin, I was I was walking by a building today. And I, I, there is an office in Santa Monica that that a nondescript office. I don't even know what they do there, but it just said Jay Samuelson there. So you want to tell us about your secret life here in Los Angeles? Something something maybe Mrs. Samuelson should know about. We've got photo evidence to prove it too. Twenty three out of twenty five. Trevor Reza, tie dye, die cut, sons, Ryan Sullivan with that. So that apparently, according to Mike Tower and uh, and Trevor, that peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich was Elvis's favorite sandwich. Hmm. It's good enough for Elvis. It's good enough for the king. It's good enough for me. All right? I mean. He led a long and healthy life eating that, so. There may or may not have been a pokey stop there. Brandon, Joe, why are there no personal breaks on the site? We don't do personal breaks very often, Brandon. So you're not always going to see them on the site. Sometimes they'll be there. Sometimes they won't. This time, At this time, no, nothing available for personal boxes. Mike Tower said, I had a peanut butter and maple syrup sandwich when I was a kid. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, even as an adult, Mike Tower, they still taste good. <laughs> Garrett, you need to turn, turn on the uh, sarcasm filter. Yeah, obviously, it wasn't long enough. There's <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns. Select Swatches Relic. I don't know. Just Google it, John Samuelson. Maybe it's like, maybe it's your evil twin, James Samuelson, running an office down here. There's Carl Anthony Towns for Bill and the Timberwolves. And Jalen Brown die cut. If I remember later, we'll Google it. And see we see what this office is all about. Fifty five at ninety nine, Jalen Brown die cut for Derwin and the Celtics. We got Tony Parker to one forty nine. D Wade to one ninety D Wade looks like he can play another couple years. There's Dwayne Wade again. And Wes Matthews, 7 out of 49. Throwback memorabilia. I don't remember. Are these real? Does everyone remember Jazz edition of Wes Matthews? I'm not 
sure when this ever happened. He was drafted by it. Oh, he was undrafted, but was on the Jazz for a couple of years. All right. And there's Marvin Bagley, 85 out of 99. Lime green autograph. Neil with the Sacramento Kings. There you go. This is strong. I want to see this team in the playoffs. My Lakers aren't going to go there, so may as well see an exciting team like the Kings challenging the, I guess, the Warriors, giving them a run for their money. Gary Trent Jr. die cut to John Samuelson. Oh, so many big hits in this break, Eric. You've missed out on a lot. We'll have, we'll have the video posted. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the uh, I'm on the Warriors in that one. Minus six and a half points. Right. I don't want to see the Clippers or the Spurs in the play. Those teams aren't fun to watch. Yeah, get those guys out of there. Get the Kings in there. They like shooting threes. They're they're a fast break kind of team. They play fast. They exciting basketball. It's good for neutral fans to watch. It's more of that. Not the not the boring old Spurs and the no names on the Clippers. Mike Tower saying, which new playoff team would be hashtag good for the hobby? Actually, that's what we should root for. Whatever team that would be hashtag. It would be the Kings. Don't you want to see the Kings go uh, go seven games against the Golden State Warriors? Take them right to the brink. Marvin Bagley Jr. going off. Buddy Heal, De'Aaron Fox. Bogdanovich. There's LeBron James die cut and Colin Sexton lime green. That is to 75 for the Cavs and LeBron James die cut for Elvis Ekman. Out of 175 on that LeBron James. Yeah, I mean, I guess you, oh, train whistle? Yes, Kevin Huter, green. Boom, four out of five. Just one off the jersey number as usual for Jean Ross and the Atlanta Hawks. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? There's Jared Allen. I'd like to see the Nets in the playoffs. I don't, oh, they are in the playoffs. They're the seventh seed. That's a good, that's a fun team to watch. John Tamson thinking Clyde Drexler. Rex thinking Charles Barkley. EA is guessing KD, Kevin Durant. Nice Eldon Cam Campbell for Elvis with my Lakers. Garrett's guessing uh, Steph again, Steph Curry. Carl guessing Jalen Rose. King D saying, come on, Rockets. Looking for any kind of Rocket, I guess. This one, Rocket in, in control so far in this game. There's Damian Lillard. I know John Samuelson was looking for his autograph.
There you go, nice. 78 out of 99. Garrett is guessing... Oh, it's going to be a rookie after that vet auto, that Kyrie. All right. We've got Tyus Jones. Signatures Gold Prism. So that should be out of 10, I believe, on that Tyus Jones. Who I believe is a Timberwolf, right? Yes, always has been. And always will be. Uh, that one goes to Bill. I don't know if he always will be, but this one goes to Bill. And the Minnesota Timberwolves. Nice. Kara and Brandon saying, in case three sold out. Nice. So we will we will go through some orders after this break, and we'll add that to the schedule. All right. Next one. Two boxes to go. We're almost done with this one. James Ferreira, just wondering, my order from last Friday says it's still in California. Just wondering if you guys have been backed up with shipping. Out. No. Not at all. In fact, we've got post office picked up another, you know, 100 packages from yesterday. I'm going as fast as I can, Brandon. Don't push the breaker. Mistakes could happen. One of ones could be bent. Slow and steady wins the race. Should have, how about this, Brandon? Should have purchased faster. Should have purchased all those in case before this hour-long select basketball break. How about that? Um, no, so James, a lot of times, uh, a lot of times those, uh, they, they don't scan the packages. So it's probably on its way. Stuff from last Friday should have been shipped out on Monday, actually. So it should be on its way. Oftentimes, they, just don't, they don't scan, so you don't get, like, the updates. But uh, shoot us an email, jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. Let our shipping team know. Maybe we'll see, we'll see if we can uh, we'll look on our end and see what the tracking situation is. But all, the, all those breaks from Friday are not here. They're all gone. All en route. Michael Bridges for the Suns. Another redemption. We are right on schedule, Brandon. I'm going just as fast as I need to be. I'm right on time. It's not, it can't go any faster. More comments like that, Brandon. I might take more time. Premier level. No, thanks, Brandon. Yeah, we are. We're, just a lot of breaks. A lot of people buying. This this might be the new normal, Brandon. Where breaks just get backed up. We have half our night spoken for before before we even get to the halfway point. There's Kevin Love. Oh yeah, uh, Garrett wants to know. Well, see, I can, I can talk and break at the same time without skipping a beat. So, so the talking doesn't doesn't really uh, it doesn't doesn't impede it. Now, if I want to look up John Samuelson's office in Santa Monica in the middle of the break, that would impede it. Not doing that yet. Ooh, Jalen Rose, double doink, John Samuelson. I'll I'll, I'll counter with that. Garrett Strauss, I was born in a small town in Northeast Ohio, the small town of small small town of Warren, Ohio. Thirty six out of one ninety nine. Jalen Rose, Pacers. Josh Bruce, St. Joseph's Hospital, and a on a warm summer night in September. Ten to fifty years ago, between ten and fifty years ago. 
All right, last box coming up. Oh. The redemption is Joe Ingles. Signatures. Joe Ingles for the Jazz. That'll be for Elvis Ekman with the Utah Jazz. Has Joe Ingles always been a, a, a Jazz? Oh, no, that's right. He played for uh, for Maccabee Tel Aviv. That's right. That's how I associate Joe Ingles. When he played for a couple seasons in Maccabee Tel Aviv. There you go. Jingles for the Jazz. Um, I don't know my birth. I was born... When was I, I was born on a Wednesday in the middle of September. I'm a Virgo. Um, I think in the afternoon? Evening? I'll have to ask. I'll, I can text my mom. Garrett, if you like. Um, text my mom. What, what time was I? What time was I born? I think I was a little, uh, a, a, ti a, a bit underweight. I don't know. I don't know how long I was. <laughs> what my, what, what my weight was. Um, but a tiny bit underweight. Maybe like a couple weeks early too, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just send her your email. You guys can touch base on that. Moved out to California in uh, when I was a couple years old. So I don't remember Ohio much aside from like family photos. We got Daryl Griffith in flight signatures. Um... I may or may not be, may or may not be a uh, part cyborg, my tower. Oh yeah, Virgos usually get along with Virgos. Is this why we all get along? Brandon, John, and others. Dirk Nowitzki is your super short print. Zebra, nice Zeb. Ken Goldberg with the Zebra. Nice. Are you allowed to own a zebra? Ladies and gentlemen, who knows? Who knows? Anyone a, a zebra lawyer? Who's proficient in zebra law? Can you own a zebra? If you go to Hearst Castle, old Hearst does have a does have a herd of zebras. At a two forty nine Drew Holiday, they graze around there. Out of 299, Morris, JJ, another redemption. Any guesses on that one? Jeremy Lin to 149, Monty Morris to 299. Ooh, can a Maverick be a zebra? I don't think so. Unless you're a Maverick zebra, a zebra that just marches to the beat of his own drum. That's right, Iceman. I am dangerous. That's a Maverick. And we got Della Vidova. Throwback memorabilia. For the Cavs. That'll be for Chris Parent and the Cavaliers. Charles Barkley, Rex is guessing. Could be. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see in just a few seconds. Good luck, everyone. Ty says you can own a zebra until you get caught. Well, let's let's look up zebra, zebra ownership in the United States. It's Landry Shamit. Look at that, Mike Tower with that guess. Good guess. That is still Sixers edition. That goes to Dwayne. He hasn't shown up in his Clippers gear in any basketball sets as of yet. All right, there you go. The sharpshooter. 
going to Dwayne. And there's your break, folks. Pick your team five in the books. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching, for joining the breaks, and for conversing. Always have fun times in these breaks. We'll see you for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.